Steve Baker along with head coach Chuck Martin standing outside the brand new athletic performance center for the Miami Red Hawks. Of course, you just saw off to our right is the Dalk Indoor Sports Center. Off to our left is Jaeger Stadium and right in the middle, just off the north end zone is this beautiful brand new building that you guys moved into in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we're, we're really excited. Obviously, we got uh, amazing uh, facilities built here over the last three years and uh, David Saylor's vision and I would say it's, it's pretty important in the world to work at a school that has really successful alums that make a lot of money but also that are very generous and we have both. We have a ton of successful alums that have built this whole uh, really paradise for us as, really? as coaches yeah. and players and, and we're so generous to, to, to give time, energy and money to this project and uh, I think we're going to go take a look at it. Let's go take a tour. So here we are when the players first come in. This is everything that they see, the lobby as they come into the APC. Yeah, and this will be the entrance also for all our student athletes because we're going to go in in a little bit and show you our, our state-of-the-art training facility, which will be all our varsity sports and all will be using the using training facility. facility. So it's it's not just a great building for football, but it's great for all athletics and a great par partnership with Mercy Health. All right, we're, we're going to go upstairs first. This building has been specifically designed to help these players have the most efficient day possible. We're going to start off first with one of the favorite, the favorites of the players as we go into the players' lounge. And this is an awesome place for our players to hang out, build camaraderie, build team unity. You have an unbelievable view of our weight room down below. We're going to have three gaming stations. We're going to have a pool table. We're going to have a foosball. We're going to have all sorts of stuff in here for kids to have fun. Great for players, great for families to come hang out and enjoy life. And uh, it's, it's an extra special thing that a lot of schools our size don't even dream of having a facility like this. We're going to cut through and go right over, right over to our team room. Our team room seats 150 people. And we really designed it like a giant home theater. We didn't want it too big. We wanted it cozy. We want our players to be right on top of us when we're coaching them. We're gonna have all our team meetings in here. We're gonna have all our special teams meeting here. We'll have our O&D unit meetings sometimes in here. And then obviously we'll use it for tons of recruiting functions. Uh, David Saylor used it for an all staff meeting this morning. So unbelievable facility, but it's an awesome place. Uh, nice and tight so you'll have a captive audience every time you come in here. Our offensive line meeting room is the biggest of them all. Uh, because we have more alignment than the other position, and it overlooks Jaeger Stadium. It's an incredible view. Uh, fortunate in this meeting room, uh, Brandon Brooks has already donated uh, a significant amount of money uh, to put his name in the meeting room. We got a nice action shot of Brandon, uh, obviously having an incredible career, first with Houston, now with the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, we're very proud to have him on the wall. All right, now we're going to step in the quarterback room, obviously much smaller than your offensive line meeting room, but obviously we have many, many less quarterbacks. But again, awesome. Ben Roethlisberger uh, donated the money to have his name in, 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 on the quarterback room. And obviously, again, we talk about you come in here as a Miami quarterback and you see a Hall of Famer standing right on the wall wearing a Miami jersey. It, it gives you extra incentive to come out and be the best you can be and hopefully be the next Hall of Fame quarterback that comes out of Miami. Uh, we're right in the middle of the building upstairs right now. we got the Cradle Coaches mural on this side. We're still doing the artwork. The building's not completely finished. We're still working on a lot of the artwork. we got people working downstairs right now. We're going to head into my office. We've got some of the furniture in. we got the desk. As you can see, we're just starting to move in. Uh, but unbelievable place to work every day. Sets a professional tone to everything we do. This is a main place you'll meet with. I will meet with recruits on a daily basis, which is completely different from where I've done it for three years. We're going to walk out here on the balcony. This is my new favorite, favorite view of Jaeger Stadium. Unbelievable field. Looking at the stadium, you look right down to the Cradle Coaches monuments at the other end. If you're a head football coach and you stare at the Cradle Coaches every day down the morning, when you come into work, you think, okay, we have quite a tradition to uphold here at Miami and we're going to definitely do everything we can to uphold it. We got on the east side, we got our locker room and our equipment room right next to it. Across the hallway, we have our training room and our weight room. So there's four major areas downstairs uh, that we're going to show you right now. Incredible space for our strength staff incredible space for our student athletes. There will be other sports that occasionally come in here and work out, which we're, we're all excited about. Every student athlete that, that is, is housed down here and has a chance to work out in our facility. We have a cardio area up front. As we walk down this, you'll see the space, but it's attached to the indoor. The door, the door that leaves this building goes right into our indoor, which is critical for our strength staff because we do so much stuff in the weight room and so much stuff on the field and before we have to run up and down a hill to get that done but just the access from the doorway for coach Hark and his staff to be able to train our athletes our strength staff has their own basic kitchen we got some power bars here we got some drinks but we got our blenders we're making our protein shakes 
Uh, we're making our weight gain shakes. Right as soon as they get done lifting, we got refrigerated here. We got our, our nuts, we got our berries, we got all our stuff in here for our strength staff to refuel our kids as soon as they get done with their strength training. Uh, pretty amazing. Our guys did this already but they kind of had to scramble and do it in the hallway on their own. Now they got a nice area. We can store stuff, we can keep stuff cold, we can make the shakes with the blenders, and we can make our athletes the biggest, strongest in the MAC conference. I said one of the coolest things was that I can open doors on my cell phone, which I think is really cool. Uh, now we're in the main, you look out to the, to the game field, uh, you look at the wall right here, you don't think of a lot, all right? But actually, architecturally and design, you go from, oh, we actually looked at the old Batman movies to create our locker room. So we're gonna come in and check out our brand new locker room. All right, we're gonna turn the lights on. We got these switches, all right. Pretty cool to walk in. All right, the artwork here. Then you're gonna turn the corner. And if you've been in old, the old Jaeger locker room, which all the old alumni that have not seen this facility yet until National Signing Day right now are throwing things at their, their phone or their TV or whatever, like our seniors that were graduating came in and looked at and they stormed out of here in a puff, like this is unbelievable, like I don't even want to see it, you know, so, but for all our, our current players and all our future players, we now have one of the nicest locker rooms in the country. We're just kind of, kind of tore around. We got tons of space, tons of space in between the lockers. All right, we got a great meeting room here. This is gonna be our locker all year round and game day. We got an unbelievable space for me to address the team. And come down the main hallway, we, we, we got these really, really nice lockers. All right, our kids have already moved into them. You see the space between the lockers, so when you got two 330 pounders getting dressed, uh, they still have room, they're not on top of them. There's plenty of room to seat. We've got all sorts of compartments to store stuff. It goes all the way to the ceiling for Daryl. We've got a place for everything. There's vents, there's fans and everything, so the locker room won't stink like most locker rooms, which we're all looking forward to. It's locked up now. We got four uh, electrical outlets. We got two USB and two regular plug-in outlets. One of my favorite areas in the building, we got our barber shop. So we got our own barber shop for uh, our kids to be able to get their hair cut. We're gonna come down here and they each have their locker down this hallway. So when they come in off the street, they grab their stuff. When they leave, they drop it down right there. It can't be any more convenient for our student athletes. And we're gonna come into the Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, one of the nicest training rooms in the country. And, and along with the, 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 the generosity and the partnership with Mercy Health that, that we have combined, the care for our student athletes are gonna be second to none. Doc Daly, Paul Eversaw, a whole training staff. The one thing they love is when they, at some point in training, you're past the STEM units and you're past the ice and the cold and all this, they can go put them right in the weight room or take them right on either field and do some land training. So again, even our training gets better because of the proximity to, to access the weight room and access to our indoor. We've got two cold tubs, one hot tub, and in uh, another area with an underwater treadmill at the other end, you can see the monitor. They can actually, a lot of times with injuries, you're not ready to run yet, so you can't start running, but you can run underwater because of less pounding on your knees and your ankles. And now we have an underwater treadmill to start rehabbing, getting our student athletes in all sports back on their, their perspective playing, playing field or playing surface a lot quicker. We have a ridiculous, incredible facility that uh, for, for being a non-Power 5 blows pretty much everybody out of the water and rivals a lot of even the Power 5 places that I've been. And, uh, but more importantly than that, it makes our student athletes life efficient for the first time since any of them have been at Miami. And, well, that's all changed due to the generosity and, and being at a place that People make money and have, have good jobs, and then the generosity of these people to give back. And, and it's tough because they're giving back and making these athletes' lives a lot better than their lives were. And the, some of the donors that gave the money are jealous of what these guys have. I said, well, you built it for us, so you can't be jealous. But they, they wish they had this back when they played here. But we're, we're the beneficiaries of a lot of long-term success at Miami football.